Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the pregnancy updates. I'm doing these week by week in my first trimester um, to keep a little like log of how I'm feeling every single week. Um, yeah, in the very early days of pregnancy. It is week seven, welcome everybody. And I don't know why I do this, but I tend to apparently pick up the camera every time I've just been sick, so hi. If I were to give you like a physical representation as to how I'm feeling right now, it's probably the state of my room. That's probably like a representation about how I am feeling. Um, it's not been great, I'm not gonna lie. However, it's been manageable. And this time in my last pregnancy, uh, I certainly wasn't saying it was manageable. I was literally like, felt like I was dying, even though it absolutely wasn't. Um, I feel like this time, sickness is is very much there and I, like I said I was just sick but it's not as it's not as constant it's not as um like completely all-consuming whereas last time it definitely was I'm just gonna pop you up a little bit so I feel like um like I said like with the sickness and stuff I am struggling a little bit but I definitely I feel like I don't know whether it's because I know how to manage it a little bit better like I know that I just need plain foods, carbs, cheese, and that's it. Don't push yourself with anything else. Like that's what I'm doing. Um, and I've also got these um, back sickness bands on, which I did have in my last pregnancy, but I didn't really discover them until a lot later, like when, when the sickness got really bad. Whereas I put these on, I can't remember what it was, was it week five or week six? You would have seen in my last videos. Um, the first time that I was sick, I hadn't had these on the whole day. I'd only just put them on and I was sick. Um, and then, since then, I've probably only been physically sick four, five, four or five times, um, which is significantly less than when I was pregnant the first time around. So second pregnancy so far, I don't know whether that's, like I said, managing it differently. And just to be honest, maybe just like having like more on and I'm like less yeah wallowing in my own self-pity i don't know i kind of am but just like i'm doing it when i'm on the move and like looking after george at the same time uh i don't really know i don't know what it is but i certainly am physically less sick i still feel sick i still have like nausea and stuff but um physically i'm less sick you can probably also tell that um i've got a bit of a cold at the moment my throat's hurting um that's just like because it's the time of year it's november as i'm filming this so you know you can't really change that um but yeah other than that like energy levels are quite low um i don't like i like i've got muscle pain and like i don't know whether that's because i'm ill or because i'm pregnant or a bit of both i don't know but yeah i feel like relatively like fine other than the fact that if i don't eat like probably every like hour and a half i need to like eat something whether that's small or not the things that i'm eating um by the way i've got I've got a list on my phone that I wrote down for you guys that I'll grab in a sec. Um, that basically is everything that I've been eating and it's all beige um, and boring, I'm like pretty bland, but it's the stuff that I can survive eating, like I can actually stomach. So I'm gonna grab that now. So the things that I've written down for week seven that I can stomach eating um, are ginger nuts. So the ginger nut biscuits um, are working really, really well for me in terms of um, like they stop me feeling as sick. Ginger is like a known thing. It doesn't work for everyone, but it definitely works for me um, to make me feel less sick. So ginger nuts um, and also ginger tea. I have like a ginger and lemon tea from Tesco that is sort of working. Like I don't, or fluids I'm finding quite hard, like water tea, anything like that. Sometimes I can manage squash, but water intake is like quite low. And I'm definitely dehydrated where I'm being sick um, and not having enough water, but it like by drinking water, it makes me feel sick. So it's just that like annoying loop. Um, but in terms of things I can eat, ginger nuts, ginger tea is okay. Fruit toast or saffron cake. I don't know if you can hear George by the way in the background, he is downstairs with my mum. So He's probably just going to be in the background of these videos, but anyway. Um, toast, generally. Crumpets, generally. Um, and cheese toasties. Basically, cheese and carbs. Like, bread and cheese. Or pasta and cheese. Like, I had a... I literally actually had pasta. Like, plain pasta with a little bit of butter and some grated cheese on top. And it was, like, the best meal of my life. I normally hate bland food. Like, I really love flavour. I love garlic. I love sauce. And, like, 
just all like flavor like love really really good food um and the thought of those things right now just even just saying the word sauce just actually want to retch like it's not it's just not for me um so yeah it's just I, I feel very not myself when it comes to like my food choices but i am being so much kinder to myself this time than i was last time when i was pregnant because i was always worried about not giving the baby enough um nutrients and vitamins and the things that they would need to thrive and survive um so i was always forcing myself last pregnancy to eat things that i really didn't want um and i really and they really made me feel sick and it was just like not nice um even though the food itself was lovely and it was like full of all the things I would need, I, my body, did not want it. It was rejecting it. I was being sick constantly. Whereas this time I'm just listening to my body and I don't care if all I'm eating is bread. I don't care if all I'm eating is pasta. You know what? It's fine. I'm using pregnant care, the vitamins. I'm getting the vitamins that I need from that and I feel less sick. So frankly, that's fine by me. Like I am just going to continue down this path and hopefully... Look, I'm seven weeks pregnant now, really close to eight weeks now, so hopefully this won't go on for too much longer, um, and yeah, I can get those energy levels back up. I'm gonna try and do some more like, um, either milkshakes or smoothies to get some fruit in, um, so like actually blend them up, um, hopefully. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to stomach it, but I've gotta try, so I'm gonna try it. Um, but if not, like I said, I've got my pregnant care vitamins that hopefully are doing the trick uh, in terms of getting everything that I need out of like food and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it in terms of the sickness. I also uh, had my first midwife appointment, my booking in appointment um, this week, which was really cool. So um, I had like my booking in appointment where they ask you like a million questions about your family history and all that stuff over the phone. Um, which I actually filmed, so I will pop in the footage, like some of the footage here, like some of the questions. Obviously, like you, I won't show loads of it, but there was just like, it was like a 20, 30 minute phone call. She asked me loads and loads of questions about literally everything you could possibly think of um, in terms of like my health and my history and uh, mental health and all that kind of stuff, um, similar to Ash as well, uh, and all that stuff. So I answered all those questions. I'll pop the footage in here. Uh, his name's George. It is the 9th of September, 2020. I was just about 38, I think. I was um, induced early. So I, I had reduced movements, went in for, um, I was obviously full term, um, but I went in for sort of scanning and, and they said that my placenta wasn't sort of giving him as much as he needed. Um, and they offered me an induction. So I, I sort of took it and I was already sort of a centimetre dilated at that point anyway. So I was like, right, okay, I'm here. Why not go for it? <laughs> uh, he w he was always quite small um, on the scans and stuff, so he was all he was like on the ninth centile. So that's a, again why I had quite a few extra scans towards the end because he was on the lower end of things. Um, he came out much bigger than they had anticipated, but um, so six a six pound six ounces. Yeah, so um, he was born in oh lovely no yes we used to we used to live locally to that so yeah my partner being in the army we move around a lot so. Last pregnancy, um, I, the only thing that came up was the fact that I was Reese's negative and he was Reese's positive, so I had to have an anti-D injection halfway through my pregnancy. Yeah, that sounds that sounds great. Yeah, I mean, he we just had to stay in an extra night for um, just to monitor some jaundice concerns, but he was totally fine. But yeah, nothing other than that. Were you taking folic acid when you were trying to get pregnant, or since you found out you were pregnant? Yeah, we were. I was taking folic acid to get your book and bloods taken. It's one needle, but it sounds like lots of tests. They're going to take a full blood group from you, which is going to look at your iron level and your platelet levels, which is really important for pregnancy and how you're feeling. And they're also going to find out what blood group you are, confirm that your is negative to put you into that care pathway and make sure there's no antibodies in, in your blood that may be harmful to your pregnancy. Perfect. They're also going to do routine screening for HIV, hepatitis and syphilis and also a, a random blood sugar level mm -hmm. just to make sure there's no early diabetes and send off a urine test okay is that okay with you yeah that's all great and you're happy to have those yeah yeah, yeah super happy lovely so if you come in and see us tomorrow we'll do your blood pressure come with a full bladder and then you can go off get your book and bloods done you've got your scan and we're going to see you back on the 6th of january yeah perfect all right and any worries you know where we are perfect all right brilliant thank you so much all right lovely you take care shannon and you cheers bye. bye after that phone call i also had my like physical meeting with the midwife um so i went to meet with her and she took my weight my height 
um, my blood pressure and I did like a carbon monoxide test like you blow into that and a urine sample as well so um, did all those things I think that was it um, and then I've got to go next week to the hospital because like, that's not actually at a hospital um, the midwife so like a community with midwife I've got to go to the hospital next week to get my bloods taken um, so that will do like a lot of testing and stuff like that um, for I don't really know what for. I do know what for. My midwife did tell me. I did write it down, but I've completely forgotten. Um, but it's like the booking in bloods. So they take like your blood sample and yeah, they have that. I don't really know what they do with it. Baby brain, sorry guys. I did get loads of like leaflets and stuff like that, but they're all downstairs. And if I go downstairs, then George is gonna harass me and wanna come into the video. So I'm not gonna show you those yet. I'll show you them in week eight. Um, so after I've done my booking in appointment, uh, my booking bloods, sorry, um, I'll catch up with you guys then when I'm eight weeks pregnant. So yeah, that is everything that I have done this week. The big like highlights are definitely the fact that I'm still feeling very sick, but I am managing it and I'm fine with it. Like this time last pregnancy, I was, I was on fumes. Like I was not surviving very well. This time it's like, Okay, right, I'm more than halfway through this, uh, you know, first trimester. I can do this, it's fine, it doesn't last forever. Yeah, I've, hopefully I feel like a little bit more like mentally sane this time, um, which is yeah, always good, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm actually just gonna show you also a little bump update because I feel like my belly is growing so much quicker this time. I don't think I had a bump this time last pregnancy whereas this pregnancy I certainly do um and this is for reference it is like half 11 in the morning so um like I'm this isn't food and stuff because I've barely ate today but I've got a little bump what's come back here there's my little bump I don't know whether that's mainly like bloating or whether that is baby or not obviously baby is like tiny at the moment I'll show you what it looks like on my app I'm using the pregnancy plus app um like I did last time because I really liked how it tracks it and everything it's changed a little bit since I last used it actually so this is what baby looks like at the moment they look so strange don't they so this is week seven and if I do it to measure that is how small baby is in here so they are still super tiny. George is literally just outside. They're super tiny, um, but things are like developing. Um, like hands and feet, like, like tiny little pad structures are developing. Eye development's happening right now. Teeth buds, which is just crazy. Um, so yeah, and they are apparently at the moment 1.6 centimeters long. So that's what's happening at seven weeks. I don't know if you can hear George out there, but he is desperate to come in. So I think I'm going to have to leave week seven here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in week eight. Bye. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby